All right, thanks for tuning in everyone. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna show you how to scan to email setup with two-step verification on Gmail. And I'm gonna be using a HP LaserJet printer that I got recently, and I need to be able to scan and send to an email address. So I'm gonna use my personal email address, so let's get going. Uh, so go over to your printer, click the home button. Top right, you're gonna look at uh, the little network kind of icon with like a Wi-Fi spilling out of it. Then we'll click on network. So we, we want to get our IPv4 address. So let's go ahead and come back and type that in. This is going to be part of the process. So if we were to type it in, I've already got it in there before. It goes right to the HP um, setup. So this is our device status. We want to be able to scan. So click on the scan tab. We want to be able to uh, set up scan to email setup. Uh, which is outgoing email profiles right here. So send scan documents as email attachments. And then you can't do it right now because we have to manually set this up. So it's a little tricky, but we're going to be able to keep our two-step verification on. So click new, put in your email address. You've got your display name, whatever you want it to show on your email address. For SMTP server, we need to use the Gmail one. So smtp.gmail.com. Uh, change the 25 to 465. That's the port that's going to work. And then I always check the box so we can have a secure connection. All right, moving down here, we want an SMTP uh, server that requires authentication. Okay, so it's just going to be our email address. We're going to have to create a password, a very specific password from our Google account that's going to help us keep the two-step verification so we can keep our uh, Gmail secure, but we can also send emails. So we're going to allow this through as an app. Uh, so this isn't created yet. Let's go ahead and do a little four-step pin if we want to. You don't have to, but that's for your printer. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and save and test. So wait for it to run the test real quick on the HP site. You'll see that username is incorrect. Ensure both user account and password are valid. Okay, so something's up. So we're going to go to edit. Uh, everything looks good here, except that. So we want the, the password. All right, so now let's go to our Google account, hit the top button, hit manager account. So we're going to go to security, and we're going to see, uh, we're going to go two-step verification is on, so that's great. So if it were off, we wouldn't be as secure. Let's keep logging in here. So it's got all, all this set up, uh, devices you trust. So we can go back. It's already on. So if it was off, you wouldn't see this app password. So let's show you real quick, and then we'll get to uh, fixing the issue is being able to have two-step verification on with uh, sending emails. So right now, we want to go ahead and we want this on. So two-step verification. It's going to ask you, and it's probably going to send me a little text. Use your phone as a second step sign in, continue, text message. Let's go ahead and put in the code once that comes through. Great, we've got two step verification and we want to click turn on. And here's where it gets tricky. Now we want to uh, use an app. So we want app password. So now we see that's on, we want an app password. We need to create an app password for HP in order to be able to send this. So we can just put whatever other HP printer, generate. So now we've got a specific code. We're going to copy this code and we're going to come back to our setup. We're actually going to put this in the SMTP password. So let's drop it in there. And now let's hit save and test. Otherwise, this wouldn't work before. I've been through it, I figured it out, so I'm making this video quick and easy for you to save you money. So now press OK. You've got it right there, email. Now go check uh, your printer. You should be able to scan directly to yourself. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you, like and subscribe.